Hi guys! So, Chinese New Year is only two days away, and so I thought I would make a video uh, just talking about some of the different traditions that go on prior to and after the actual Chinese New Year day. So firstly, um, a few weeks to maybe like even a month prior, people will start going to the grocery stores or the Chinese malls to buy decorations and snack and different Chinese New Year snacks. This is called Banlin Fo. If you translate it, it basically means uh, New Year Chinese New Year shopping. So they can get things from um, candies to different uh, snacks. Like there are a lot of uh, fried snacks during Chinese New Year. Um, and you can also get little decorations for that year. So like this year, it's gonna be, the coming year is gonna be the year of the ram. So there's a lot of things um, that are in the shape of the little lamb. It's also a good time to buy red pockets. So a few days before Chinese New Year, you would do a big clean. It's sort of like a spring cleaning, but it's not so much throwing things out. It's basically a belief that you are sweeping away all the bad luck of the previous year and then you're welcoming the good luck of the coming year. This is called Dai So Choi. Uh, I don't know how to, how to translate that into English, but it's basically like a spring cleanup. In the Chinese calendar, there each month only has 30 days, unlike the Western calendar where some months have 30, some have 31, or even February that has 28. On the 30th of December, you would all, the whole family would gather together and then they would eat dinner together. It is um, a tradition and it's very important to families to all eat together to what kind of welcome the new year. And this is called Tun Lin Fan and it happens on Lin San Sap Man which is basically um, New Year's New Year's Eve dinner for us and then after that they'd um, take showers and change into new pajamas like to kind of represent a new beginning. On New Year's Day you would wear new clothes so it's again to welcome the new year. On New Year's Day, which we call Lin Cho Ya, which is like the first day of the new year, you would always uh, go to mostly your dad's side of the family to go and greet everyone and say Gong Hei Fa Choi and get your, give out red pockets or get your red pockets and just spend time with family. It's really big on the whole family thing. Going to the family, you would, it's called Bai Lin, which is like, kind of like giving good fortune to your family members and you say Gong Hei Fa Choi. So when you say Gong Hei Fa Choi, you would have, you don't just say it. What you do is, well, I I don't think it matters, but basically one hand's a fist and then you cover it and you go like this. And you say Gong Hei Fa Choi. Or some people would be like Gong Hei, Gong Hei. So it's just either way. Um, that's normally what you do with your hands. And it's just sort of, I don't know why they do it, but that's what I've been told and that's what I do. And then on the second day of the new year, which is Lin Cha Yi, is when you go back to your mother's side of the family to do the same thing. During this period, lots of food will be eaten and lots of, um, family members will be seen. On the third day, on Lin Cha Sap, nobody goes, you just stay home. You don't go to any family members to buy Lin. That's kind of the day where you may say something wrong or say something mean. I think it came to because like, I mean, after two days of waking, it's you also wake up early when you go to like your grandparents or your uh, people who are higher up in the family because that shows respect. So the fact that you've been waking up two days in a row very early and very long days, probably by the third day, people get cranky and so it's just probably better to just rest at home and not talk to anyone and say something wrong. <laughs> um, that's about it and then that for the Bailin. Um, 
that kind of ends it and then it's just all if you see people oh gong hei gong hei or gong fa choi oh and also at homes they would have little uh boxes that are divided and inside is the candies and little snacks you bought it's kind of like a way to greet uh, people when they come to your home to visit you give it to them and that's called a chun hop and it just has all these candies in it and it's wonderful it can be small it can be big it's up to you and not all families do it but most families do if they have, and then whenever they have guests they kind of put it out Chinese New Year's has a lot of tra different traditions and it's a lot the more traditional your family is, the more there is to do. Personally, we don't do that much, so it's it's quite chill. It's just we just basically go and spend time with my grandpa, and we have dinner with him. That's basically what we do, and we always put on the new clothes, all that jazz. I'm wishing all of you a very happy and prosperous new year in the year of the ram, or sheep depending which one you say, they're the same thing. And I hope you guys get a lot of red pockets. So, gong hei fa choi. And I will see you in my next video.